Trying to understand how DNA works would be pretty much impossible without this little tub of gel. Hi, I'm Shay, and I use this machine in my research all the time. It's called a gel electrophoresis. These machines separate DNA and proteins into separate segments based on their size. It does this by using a special gel called agros and an electrical current. This gel has wells at one end, where we load our samples using a pipette. These samples contain bits of DNA that has been mixed with a special dye. Once the wells are loaded, we turn the gel electrophoresis machine, which sends a current across the gel. The current moves from a negative point down near the wells to a positive point on the other side of the gel. Now, DNA fragments are actually negatively charged. Therefore, they're repelled by the negative charge near the wells and are forced through the gel. As the DNA moves, the agarose gel kind of acts like a microscopic sieve, allowing smaller segments to move through easier than larger ones. And when the gel electrophoresis is complete, we expose it to UV light to get our results. These bands represent different size fragments of DNA, which show up under UV light because of a fluorescent dye in the gel. You see, what we do is add new bits of DNA, called genes, into a sample. But DNA has a long, complex structure, so we have to make sure we've put the genes in the right place. So based on this image and the bands that are in it, I can tell that my genes are in the right spot and I can move on with my research.